In this session, we are going to talk about a very important feature and very amazing feature of Canva and that is resize tool. Although this option is only available in Canva Pro version, but I'll uh, also show you a work around for the free version. But right now, let's discuss the uh, pro features that Canva offers for the resize tool. Imagine we have this simple design of a post or a business flyer. So basically this tool comes into play where we have a single design that you want to use on multiple platforms like for Facebook banner, for YouTube, for Instagram post. You can resize it all in a single click according to all platforms. So obviously all that platforms will have different dimensions and it will adjust it accordingly for the each platform. So let's take this uh, design for the example and let's say that if you want to uh, export it or make copies of it for different platforms, how can we do that? So this is our design. I'll go to the resize tool on the top and here you can see all the dimensions that you can convert it to in. Um, in poster you can convert, in Facebook cover, Instagram post, logo, Instagram story, resume, A4 document, brochure, postcard, I want that. So basically all the possible options you have in here. So it's very effective if you are, are providing a designing services for your client. So this tool is very effective, especially if you are providing the freelancing services to a client with all the package of different dimensions for a particular design. So let's select a couple of options. So let's click on copy and resize. That's the option that you only want to click and click on continue editing. It says click on pop up blocked uh, and uncheck any shields because it will open up the different designs in different tabs. And I think I need to select that again before the settings was not enabled. So let's try uh, some options and then click on convert again. Continue editing. Here it says pop-ups blocked. Always allow all the pop-ups done and click on copy and resize. And there we go. We have all the designs created according to the different templates adjusted to all the sizes that we want them to be in. So if you feel anything is not just looking right according to the template or the size of the you know, post, for example, this one is a particular format of uh, a brochure. So you might need to adjust that. So this tool is basically making its best guesses. Obviously, if you feel that something is not just right, so you can adjust that according to uh, your particular dimensions. But basically what it does is it will convert that specific design into different templates according to the dimensions that you want them to be in. And again, this tool is available for the Canva Pro only if you are using the free version, you need an other way around for that. Although it's not very effective, but we have a way I'll show you here. So uh, to see how we can deal with that if you have only the free version. Let's go back to the original design. So after the main template, what you can do is you have to do it manually all together. You will create, let's say if I want to create a Instagram post, let's say. So I'll click on this. It will be converted to an Instagram post. And then I'll select control A to copy all of these details here and the new blank template, I'll select that and paste it right here. So obviously after that, it will not centralize. You have to decide it by yourself. You have to press control A here as well and you have to manually adjust that according to what settings you need. It will not automatically resize like it did before for Canva Pro. So again, this is not the actual solution. Uh, especially if you want to create lots and lots of templates and adjust the design according to that. It will take a lot of time. But still, if you're using the free version for your minimal designs and you're not providing the professional services, then it might just work for you. But if you are a professional uh, who uh, needs to provide that services to the client, 
uh, obviously the free version uh, won't work for you because it will take a lot of time to adjust the single template according to all the other social media platforms or to the different dimensions now again uh, let's discuss the features of the pro version and that is for example if you are using a video the videos can also be resized according to any template that you want for example this is my template this is a video now one cool feature of the resize tool is it just not only work in the post but it also works in uh, your videos for example if you have any video like for example let's use any video for example this one and if i want to resize it to an instagram post as you can see it's horizontal right now i'll click on resize and then just scroll down to make it an instagram post copy and resize and it will be adjusted right away and see how the perfect the adjustment is it automatically fits all the objects according to the required design so that is the power of the canva pro features now obviously since this image is of more size you can just double click if you want to adjust the background here and there and then you can edit but the best feature of the resize tool it is it intelligently places all the objects and adjusts the size accordingly which will obviously uh, the manual copy and paste uh, work and first creating the bank blank template and then pasting over that and then readjusting obviously it takes a lot of time that you can save from the resize tool simply by getting into canva pro so i hope this tool is also um, been helpful for you and i'll see you in the next one